Greetings. Uh, let us learn about radiation protection. Uh, if you are planning to work in a fluoroscopy room assisting either an ERCP or a complex uh, EUS procedure or a difficult uh, stent placement, uh, you should be careful about radiation and take all the precautions to protect yourself. So here is a fluoroscopy room and there are few things you need to keep in mind in terms of uh, protecting yourself from radiation or undue exposure to radiation. Number one, one should limit the amount of radiation exposure by limiting the amount of fluoroscopy time. It is a good idea to measure the fluoroscopy time for every case and make it a goal to do the case with the minimum amount of radiation so that everybody in the room uh, has very little exposure to radiation. As you stay away from the machine, that is distance away from the machine, the radiation scatter will be less and you'll have more protection. Number three, it is important to make sure that when you enter the fluoroscopy room, you are fully protected by wearing the radiation protective devices like a lead apron, etc. And lastly, radiation damage is a cumulative damage. So it's important to measure the amount of radiation exposure that one gets by wearing a radiation dosimetry badge, a radiation badge. So we will go into these details, but these are the most important principles to keep in mind. When it comes to uh, how to handle the lead apron, and the lead apron is the most important uh, device that protects you from radiation exposure to the body. And it's important to keep the lead apron from cracking inside. And one way to do is to hang the lead apron after the procedure uh, to a coat hanger, like you see on the wall here. Uh, that is a very important uh, principle. As I've seen many times, I, endoscopists, technicians, and nurses, after they have done the case, they are in a rush to go to the next job. They remove the lead apron and throw it on, the, on a chair or a bench, and uh, the lead apron gets folded, and that folding can crack the lead, lead lining inside that apron. And once the lead lining gets cracked, uh, it doesn't protect you. And the radiation could go through those cracks. So important to uh, keep the leads safe by hanging them. And uh, once you wear the lead apron, uh, you also are supposed to wear a radiation badge. Uh, it's important to have the badge on you whenever you're working in a fluoroscopy room. And it's also important to return the badge every month to one of your senior technicians who keeps tab of uh, the radiation exposure for everybody. The radiation badge measures the amount of radiation that one has received. And the only way to keep tab whether one is getting too much radiation or not is to wear the badge regularly in the fluoroscopy room and then every month to return it to make sure that somebody is keeping a tab on radiation exposure of all the people working in the fluoroscopy room. Regarding the protective devices, uh, radiation can damage the eyes can lead to
cataracts very early uh, in the age. So you could protect the eyes by wearing lead goggles. Radiation could damage uh, thyroid and uh, it could lead to thyroid cancer. And it's important to wear a thyroid shield. Uh, radiation could damage the uh, chest bones, uh, spine, etc. Uh, and the pelvic bones and the long bones of the uh, lower limbs uh, all the way to uh, the upper end of the tibia. So it's important to wear a lead apron that covers the front and the back well and it goes all the way to the top of the tibias. It should not be above the knee but it should go below the knee. So coming to the radiation badge or the dosimeter, this actually measures the radiation exposure. And what are the do's and don'ts about radiation badge use? And I want to repeat it because this is very important. You want to make sure that you wear it daily when working in the fluoroscopy room. Wear it in the neck and the chest area facing the radiation source and wear it over the lead apron and not under it. And finally, make sure that you do not loan or borrow the radiation badge. So, I want to make this point again. Here is a, an endoscopy technician who is entering the room. He doesn't have the radiation badge. It's important to wear the radiation badge and it's important to wear the radiation badge over the lead apron on the chest close to the neck. And uh, one more time, I would like to talk about how do we limit exposure to radiation. One, distance. Maintaining appropriate distance from the radiation beam cuts down the amount of radiation exposure. Number two, duration. Limiting the amount of time that we, exp we put on the fluoroscopy on uh, cuts down the amount of radiation exposure. Dose. Using the lowest dose of radiation is important to cut down radiation-induced damage. And finally, freezing the fluoroscopy images during the procedure instead of taking a shot would decrease uh, the amount of radiation. I hope this is helpful. Uh, Make sure that you stay as far away as possible from the radiation source. Wear your protective gear. Don't forget to have the, your radiation badge on you all the time. On the lead apron, not under it. Thank you.